people uh, I'm back doing more HX stomp stuff and I also wanted to talk about some spread triad stuff um, so for my patreon I normally talk about chords on a Friday and because I'm so stuck in this HX stomp stuff and helix stuff um, I've neglected that so I wanted to just talk about some of that <laughs> So if you've got questions, feel free to fire away with them. So um, let's think of uh, a key. So we're going to talk about A melodic minor. And how you harmonise that. Uh, so when we talk about harmonising the melodic minor scale, hello Otman, feel free to jump in with any questions you might have. Um, we're talking about building from the scale triads so the first one built off the A is an A minor triad and then the second one and then the second one is also minor so we end up with an A minor triad B minor triad and then what would it be it'd be a doing this kind of thing uh, um, so we could also do that in the melodic minor sense so we're actually thinking E major and then so what can we do we can do A minor B minor then augmented, so those are the first three, and then what did we say major, then diminished, so major, major, uh, augmented, then minor, so this is a really different way to visualise the melodic minor scale, I'm going to write this out for Patreon members. Um, feel free to talk about HX stomp stuff if you want me to try and cover anything. Um, I need to check out the diesel model and I also need to check out uh, some of the fuzzes and stuff I think. So what do we get? Minor, minor, augmented, major, major, then we need two diminished. styling. Uh, what can you, you can 
you'll have an external wire pedal and yeah an additional so what you'd need is um i think you need a trs to dual mono and you could do that with that if you've got the right kind of pedals So Otman, the, the way that I start off tweaking sounds is that I start off with an amp block and just have it on the default settings. Generally I find that Line 6's default settings are pretty good provided you pair them with a cab that you like the sound of. Um, so let's just for instance, um, uh, if I go into, I don't know, JC's in lead or whatever. Uh, Actually, let's just start from scratch. So, um, clear all blocks. So, say we're going to start off with uh, a Princeton, since that's new. Or maybe even we'll start off with a diesel, because that's completely new. Right, so. <coughs> oh, that's loud. That's really loud. Uh, sorry about that. Let me try and turn it down. Uh, place that I normally start tweaking is with the, the cab, so normally I prefer a smaller cab. And so if you choose a cab and a, a mic that does... does more of what you're looking for so maybe for you it might be a condenser mic and then once you've got a, a cab sound that you're in the like ballpark of where you want to start tweaking things like treble or presence or whatever That's kind of where I would start off. You want the noise gate on. I don't think, is it on? No, you put it on if you want. So I would start off with that and then maybe go into your favorites and add a dual delay because that's new. places that I would start tweaking rather than um, with the defaults potentially. Anyway, that's not my favourite style. Oh, sorry, this is going to go way crazy again. Any 
mean noise compressor or do you mean um, suppressor? There are gates, yeah. So things like noise gates. Uh, I tend not to use them because they mess up with your feel and things like that. Use an EQ, I'm not using any really. Yeah, I find that, that an aggressive gate really messes up your... Uh, but we also got hard gates and the horizon gate is new now. Um, I don't use that. Uh, the way that I EQ is generally on the IR. If I'm needing a high cut, that's where I'll do it. Not the global EQ because that's difficult to um, tell what you've got it on or whatever. What amp am I using? I'm using the Helix right now. Sorry, I'm using the Litigator. can be used anywhere you place that anywhere and then you've also got a gate at the very start of the here that you've got an a input gate and then you can place this gate anywhere in the chain if you wanted to use it but as I say I don't really use gates too much oh cheers Jim um, right so yep they're in the very um, first folder Otman it's just a free uh, own hammer IR that I use a lot of the time. Um, right, thank you so much, Jim. Uh, right, I'm gonna feel free to ask any questions you've got. Um, if you want to like and subscribe, that'll help uh, other people find us. If we want to talk about stuff, I'm just gonna try and drill these triads through all of the keys um, in front of you uh, whilst we wait for other things to talk about. Um, Maybe I'll try and do it with um, right. But if I do it in, in rhythm with the JC shuffle preset, that's not the key that I want though. So I want to do it now, uh, E melodic minor. Thank you. 
Right, so we're on E minor. So E minor triad, F sharp minor triad, and then we need an F augmented, uh, G augmented. spillover thing is not exactly a thing that I see myself using but I think there are people um, that might use it uh, I guess what you would do is you'd be changing your instead of being snapshot focused like I am I guess you'd move to a more preset focused way of doing things I'm guessing all uh, right let's so this is the clean <laughs> And now let's try the, what did you say, the big horn. with a different amp. Um, give me a request amp wise. Uh, do you recommend the size drag? Yeah I do. Um, to be honest I prefer this uh, in a long way to the Ibanez AZ Prestige that I showed on the channel. I bought that one. Um, I've never played a Helix LT. Um, if I'm honest it seems like a bit of a bargain best overdrive pedals external for Matteo Sassato or a Timmy is basically what you need or a Jan Ray or if you want something cheap um, so I'll just write it here in case my accent's awful um, K-Line uh, Blue Sky is a Timmy uh, or the Vemuran uh, Jan Ray it is isn't it which is basically a Timmy right so uh, into the matchless yeah Let's try this. Um, let's try it into the channel two. Change that cab. Or maybe even the mic. It's a bit. sounds um, what my I'm playing the the big horn into that I might just change cabs here a sec um, let's go for um, Cali for the seal cab <laughs> consistent across cab choices that'd be good because you could make a better comparison <laughs> Uh, 
this is the the new uh, big horn, which I think is based on like an old um, what's the word electroharmonics thingy bob. <laughs> Fuzzes. Pocket Fuzz is another new one, I don't know. So what, what's our core cool amp tone like? So I'm going to go into like a clean amp for a second. Uh, what do we like? Let's try the Lone Star. to an AC30 type thing. A little bit nicer. Um, try it. Presets. Uh, what do we like? Hold lead four is a nice one, I think. <laughs> that is annoying. So, if anyone wonders why, I used to try and kind of match the volume with a Kemper, which has quite a hot output. So that's why some of my presets are defaulted to have plus twenty. Um, but it's not ideal. <laughs> sending you some earlier on um, if you check for them but I can resend if you've not got them yet let me know if you've not got them yet and I, I will resend them
I remember your name, Grant, so I should have sent them. Uh, the tracking is good. What email is it coming from? It's coming from johnnathancordy at gmail.com. Um, Let me know if you can find it, Grant. If not, I can just resend it. Um, has anyone else got anything else they want me to check out? I'm going to check out some poly stuff in a second for Stelios. Um, sending out some patches to people Grant, if you want to just leave your email there, if you haven't got it yet, I'll be. I can just send it over. So, right, some of the new poly pedals. Um, am I gigging? Uh, not any time recently. Um, Grant. Okay, I'm just going to resend now. Check your junk. Should be with your spam folder, junk folder. But hopefully that comes through. Um, right, so Polly, any other questions? Uh, fire away with them and I can try and play you through some of the stuff. Um, so, right, the Polly stuff, let's talk about the tracking. So, as you probably would expect, it's got a bit of latency. <laughs> Just delete the one with your email just in case there's anyone told you reading stuff. Um, you should have it now, yeah. Um, right, so if we're talking about tracking, it tracks really well. Hey Mike, no, and I'll show you exactly why. You're not allowed to tell anyone about this. So, uh, for instance, JC, uh, I've put up a video about this already, but I'm going to quickly show you look, this. This is what I can do with my free preset. So it's freezing, and I've also got all these other blocks. You won't be able to do that with the poly sustain. Um, so that's kind of good news for me, I guess. Um, but yeah, the normal sustain is a bit 
hungry. So I'll just show you that. Um, if we put it here, change that for the poly sustain. Well, see, the poly sustain takes up so much that I can use it with this particular set of thingies. So, so you maybe get a poly sustain and maybe an amp. Um, and you might be able to sneak in a reverb sometimes. So. I'm just going to sign this block. So. So the poly sustain works great, but it does take up a lot of DSP, um, whereas mine comparatively don't so you can have a bunch of other blocks still especially now that you've got eight blocks with my normal freeze so so that's kind of good I think Again, I think the poly pitch takes up more than the other stuff, so... Yeah, let's put this mix down to 50. So we're now basically doing like a... Can I get any reverb with this? Yeah. So you can still do bits and pieces. Yeah, the chords work nicely. kind of pog kind of digital sound to it but I think that's part of of what you get when you do this kind of thing um, it's got an EQ as well so I guess we could you could turn that mix down. I think. Uh, Eric Johnson probably. 16 minute pain. Tune. Lower intervals, what you mean like beneath? Uh, let's try that. So I'm going to do this underneath by an octave. I 
think. that just won't work um, this is basically all you can get going or unless you mean like this uh, stick that at the end <laughs> to do anything particularly complicated. to show you quickly this is one of my favorite things uh, so here's what it does so basically it works like a normal looper so you start your thing so one so you've captured your loop and then you've got within it
loop like you would a normal looper. Uh, so what are we doing? We got to E minor, so next on the circle of this will be B minor. So that will be uh, B melodic minor, right? Um, eight blocks by the time you update to firmware 3.0. That's the augmented major. Then another major, F sharp major. And then we need the diminished, uh, which was in dialing in pedals going to a PA. I've not tried using an external amp and cab to be honest. tips to get legato tones um, check out Tom Quayle I think he gives way better advice on this stuff than I could um, but practice and practice trying to make runs the three note per string sound smooth in 16th notes <laughs> For me, I'd rather have a strap than a Tele Rubin. I think it's just a bit, bit more versatile and a bit more. I don't know. I feel like has been used more. The amp and cab that I'm using right now is just the A34 normal, uh, completely stock settings. I think. Where did we get to? B minor, so next will be F melodic minor.
what are you working on these days, transcribing? Um, I'm working on Bill Evans, um, Bill Evans very early this week. Hey Mark, <laughs> how you doing? Or oh, is that Ollie? It's got to be someone. releasing uh, the album that I was lucky enough to work on. Um, I'm not that busy. Yeah, see you tomorrow. Um, but yeah, yeah, I'm working on Not Jazz Mark. Um, but yeah, tomorrow there's a live stream up. They can't watch that, can they, unless they're signed up. I don't know. But yeah, they, the the marathon stuff is being released tomorrow which is super cool so I'll be talking about that tomorrow and asking you to go and watch it um, but yeah super fun we recorded at real world studios Peter Gabriel studio which is also kind of mad live stream of uh, the thingy but yeah I think it's a, is it a YouTube live stream that we're doing all right Jakey um, what am I doing yeah so Jake hey Lowell Lowell how do you say your name Lowell what am I doing so I'm harmonizing spread triads what time I'll confirm that information for you, Jim. I think it's 8, 8 p.m. or 7 p.m. our time. sneak it into a, a gear demo.
like that. So then. So that was, where was I? Anyway, that's the idea. sprinkle in some melodic minor kind of chord runs into you could remember them and visualize them no I worked them out earlier on in this lesson so when you know we've done some stuff on spread triads. So you take your triad and you drop the third to the top instead. Um, we could do the same thing with the melodic minor scale instead of the major scale. So, uh, what's the diminished? super new to me as well it's just something that I've wanted to, to kind of explore a little bit but these triads the way to practice them I've done a couple of lessons on this but it would be to move through the scale diatonically Ranger. Right, let's try this capo one again.
any questions about anything? I think the first place I heard about these spread triad things or noticed them was Eric Johnson. in the 3.0 firmware. Absolutely, positively, you don't think so. Isn't an AC20 just a Vox? Like... If you haven't heard of Joshua Della Victoria, he's an awesome guitar player who does cool stuff. Let me try and do something um, where I copy him. Um, what am I doing? We use uh, a new preset. Very
think I've dropped Eric Lead Fuzz into my presets already. Uh, so it should be fine. <laughs> I'm familiar because it's not particularly unique.
I don't think in chord tones and tensions unless it's something which requires me to think like that. So if I'm playing like a jazz tune, then I'm absolutely thinking of chord tones and tensions and where is home. But if it's just a, a vamp in the same key all the time, like most pop stuff is, I don't really think of that. Not consciously anyway, it's just happening. Um, right, any other questions or should we wind this in? tell people See if I can do what I think you mean, which would be something like this. I'm gonna DSP overload with that bad boy, uh, so clear that block. Try. No, it doesn't like that. Simple delay feedback. <laughs> I don't tell people how I do my freeze effect, it's my secret. Um, 
I use tens and elevens generally, depending on the guitar. Reverb into pitch shift and then feed that back into verb. I never edit on HX Edit, that's why I'm so rubbish with it. I always edit on the stomp itself. Uh, let's see what else we can add to this preset. What we are allowed to. completely on the HX stomp, that's how I do all of my stuff, or on the Helix. Um, cool, thank you Michael. Uh, right, so just to summarise what I've been practising in and out of this thing is harmonizing the melodic minor scale in spread triad the litigator I think about anything except for how I make my freeze preset. I don't know about HS, HX effects at all, I'm afraid. Uh, I don't have one, so I couldn't say for sure whether they work or, or what. Um, apologies about that. Uh, dominoes, I prefer to Papa John's. Over here, Papa John's is not really so much of a thing. Um, Right, 
dogs are barking now, so I'm gonna say cheers. Oh, well, I'm not, all of my stuff is improvised, and part of the reason for that was that I don't really want to be too picky over stuff, so, um, yeah. So I'm not too picky in general anyway, because when you're improvising everything, mostly it's a bit difficult to do that anyway. So I just try not to be awful and that's about all I can do. Um. Thank you for stopping by everyone. have a 65 Princeton, that's awesome. Right, thank you everyone, and I'll catch you for another video soon. Sunday we're doing a definite planned live stream where I will embarrass myself and try and play a Bill Evans tune. Um, but until then, um, hopefully this is going okay, and if you want to like and subscribe, that'd be cool. I'll catch you for another video soon. Cheers. <laughs>